And so when you see this type of stuff, even years, listen, that is the mother of his children. He still got to explain to the kids because the kids is old enough to be self-aware now. They big. I heard one of his, his younger daughters, youngest daughter was off to college. So now they big, they self-aware. You raise them. She probably getting cut off from the money. And so now she's feeling bitter. And this is one of the reasons why it's so easy to trick you out of your draws. It's so easy to use you as a pawn. Oh, yeah, I'm going on tour with Cat Williams. Man, Cat ain't thinking about you. That ain't why he taking you on tour, you dumb hoe. He taking you on tour because it's an easier way for him to get at Kevin Hart, who he don't like. You're not the draw. You're just a tool to be used against him. And so you can't even get mad at Cat because a pimp is going to pimp, a player is going to play, and the game is still going to be the game. But the very fact that you're letting him use you as a pawn. And I don't understand. See, this women intuition thing, it never works when you need it to work. They never self-aware when it makes sense. Or is it that you hate me so much, despite the fact that we got kids together, despite the fact that I don't have anything negative to say about you? Because Kev Hart has negative, have never. He's one of the very few celebrities that never go back and say anything negative about his ex-person, about the ex-spouse. Never. He has never said one negative word about her. Not one time have I ever seen him say it. Even TMZ just ran up on him and said, how do you feel about your ex-wife? See, they don't even refer to her as Tori Hart because nobody would actually know. If you just called her Tori, nobody would know you. A lot of these people, they then come up off of your visibility and your greatness and your talent. And they not only want to take, they not only want to take credit for your success, but they also want to somehow take your spotlight as though they would have had any kind of visibility without you in the first place. Nobody would know you. You would be nothing. You would be but a vapor. You would be just another person, another woman, and nobody would even look at you as a comedian, let alone some kind of content creator, if you had to stand on your own. And so if you would just look at the word Tory, nobody would even pay attention to it. But the fact that they're labeling her Kevin Hart's ex-wife is one of the reasons why they even know you in the first place. So you owe me. You owe me. You owe me. You owe me. She just a, a representation of what we dealing with in society today. She just a representation of what we dealing with in society today. Majority of y'all women, y'all owe the man that y'all have been with for a long time and you do not give him enough appreciation. You owe him. You owe him. Let's get right to it because week to week, I'm going to give you a different recipe for success. And I need y'all to acknowledge and really understand where you live at and where your place is and whether or not you would even be remotely the woman that you are today if it wasn't for the men that made you. You owe us. It's an uncomfortable truth. And it's not your truth. It's not my truth. It's an uncomfortable truth. You owe us. You owe it to us to remain loyal. You owe it to us to hold us down. Yes, you do. I know that they told y'all that feminism is real and, you know, they making waves and you have the opportunity to do what you want to do when you want to do it. And that's cool because I want you to have the freedom for choosing for yourself. I don't want you to be here under duress. My one rule, even for Rita, is that I will never hold you against your will. And if at any point you feel like it's necessary in order for you to leave the situation, I'm never going to try to stop you. I never want anybody to be where they don't want to be. But the very idea that you align yourself with me means that you owe us because there's no way in the world you would be who you are without us. And the fact that we give you because we're the ones that allow for you to have the freedom. And then the simps is the ones that champion the bad aspects of 
what it is that we see happening in today's society as far as the breaking up of our homes and the empowerment of bad behavior and so on and so forth. Entirely different live stream. But let me be very, very clear. When we let you do whatever it is that you do, because let's be clear, at any point this thing can go south and men will be the champions. They will be the, the, the ones that set the top of the totem pole. Real talk. I mean, let's just be real. You exist in this society and you operate with this false sense of security because men have paved the way. They've created the safe space. They've created the society by which you can you can thrive and, uh, and do what you want to do. We've created all of the safe spaces. We've made sure that you had the technology and now you think that you can do it on your own. And it's only because we've allowed for you to be able to exist in this society as it is today. Men have died, fought wars, right? Have done some of the most dangerous jobs, conquered lands. It's only because we allow you to be able to exist in this world the way that you do is the reason why you feel like you have so much freedom. We've afforded you the freedom that you have. That's the honest to God truth. And so now when you take that into consideration, shout out to my girl, Dee Dee. I love Dee Dee. I love your platform, baby girl. And now because men have created this space for you, you have this false sense of security as though you've done it for yourself or you can do it for yourself or you the one or you the woman and you control it and boss chick and all of this stuff. At any point, it could all be taken away from you. And men understand this. We understand when we operate in society that society is going to hold us accountable regardless of how we feel about it. If we don't pay child support, we don't go to jail. I was coaching a guy. And he just revealed to me, it was about our third session, and he revealed to me last week, and he said, Anton, yeah, man, uh, the, the mother of my children, yeah, she on child support, but she in arrears, and she ain't never paid nothing. And I said, oh, okay, so what you going to do about it? He said, I ain't going to make that big of a deal. Now, let it be the reverse. Woman is trying to find out where you work. They're going to try to do all of that. They're not trying to work with you. They're working for their own self-satisfaction, not understanding that they're working towards their own demise. And so when you see this type of thing play out on a regular basis, you understand that the spirit of a man is much different than the spirit of a woman. And it's not supposed to be that way because women are supposed to be naturally nurturing. They're supposed to be naturally loving, but they're not supposed to be so easily deceived. And so when I see a Tory Hart and I don't care how much, look, I don't care if me and my wife argue every single day. I don't care if she tells me, Anton, I hate you and you are the worst person in the face of this earth. When she go outside, she still love me. She telling me that because she's feeling that type of way, but her sense of dedication and loyalty and the respect that she had for me would never cause for her to ever align herself with you. You see what I'm saying? She would never turn on her, turn on me to you. If she went outside and she ever said anything negative about me, that's crazy because she then is an extension of me. She's a representation of me. That's the whole idea of becoming one. And if you so easily finesse out of your drawers and out of your socks, whether you just mad at the guy, because we know that most women, when they cheat, they don't cheat just inherently just because a lot of them revenge cheat or a lot of them step out because it is for that or whatever, or because they don't feel like they're getting paid. It don't fucking matter. None of that matters. None of the reasons why matter. But the whole idea is that when you're not loyal to me and if you're not a representation of me, then you should have never been with me and lied to me. Yes, you lied to me because when you said you loved me, you lied to me and you think that love is a sense of how you feel. It's a itty bitty, a lovely, a bubbly feeling within you. And that's why you so easily finessed out of your panties.